Had some big concerns in Alabama House District 52 as one candidate dropped out of the race. Tonight we've heard from the Secretary of State who says Republican candidate Carlos Crum is no longer running for the seat. Now the winner of last night's Democratic primary runoff, Kelvin Datcher, is the only candidate still in the race. WVTN 13's Jarvis Robertson is following the story for us tonight. Yeah, Jarvis, take us back to the beginning. Why was this seat open in the first place? Well, this seat was held by former state representative John Rogers for 42 years. Now, back in March, he pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit wire and mail fraud and obstruction of justice. Now, last night, Kevin Kelvin Datcher, that is, won the Democratic nominee after receiving 55% of the votes in a very low turnout election. Now, he would have been going against Republican Carlos Crum. However, the Secretary of State office confirmed that Crum suspended his campaign. Today, we spoke with Datcher, and he said that Republicans have until July 31st to name an opponent. Datcher is quite familiar with this area because he worked for the city of Birmingham. We asked him how this transition would be for him. It really, it, it's, it goes hand in hand. I mean, Birmingham is the largest part of District 52. A lot of the challenges that Birmingham has, uh, they're felt in other parts of the district. So. You know, one of the things that has to happen is we have to look at our district and really our region as an entire one single large community and not little smart, small parts that are that are broken up. So there are things that are important to all of us. Good schools, good high paying jobs, safe communities, well paved streets. Now, the state secretary office told us candidates for the general election will be certified by this office, their office, that is, on August 2nd. As of now, there is no Republican candidate and will be no general election after August 2nd. Mr. Datcher will be able to be sworn in. Now, we have reached out to the office again to find out the exact reason why Crum suspended his campaign. Guy. All right, Jarvis, thanks. Well, we'll continue to follow any developments surrounding this race as we get closer to the August deadline. For any updates, be sure to download the free WVTM 13 app.